I'm Absolute. Where we are at the moment is the site of the legendary rave called Wonderland Arena, which happens to be exactly where my building is and where I wrote Wonderland, my forthcoming album. For me, I love a synth that I can go into and there's just an array of sounds that I can just dive straight into. So that's one of the things that I really liked about pigments is that I can just go in and I can get a starting point if I've got a certain idea or if I want to go in with a certain vibe or sound, um, I can do that. When you open it up, you see that like, you know, you're drawn to these like LFOs. There's things like moving that kind of draw your eye. So you kind of instinctively want to kind of click on it and start exploring those. The next session I go back in, I'm writing all the time. So I can't remember half the things that I've done the time before. So what I really loved about this is if I'm kind of playing around, I'm really enjoying a sound, I can just heart. <laughs> it's not fucking messing around, is it? Thirty years ago, a club called Wonderland Arena, where Carl Cox, Frankie Knuckles, The Prodigy, um, Louis Vega would all come and play. It was kind of at the heyday of hardcore and rave. This was all happening in this exact location where I actually now currently live and work. It was almost like the energy from the place just kind of like creeped through the walls, and it was something that I was absorbing and kind of reinterpreting for like a new generation of people that didn't get to experience it back then. I feel like I'm writing so much music that sometimes I'm inspired by a chord progression and then I'll just feel my way around each chord until it kind of fits the mood that I want to create or it makes me feel something. Yeah, with, with that sound, you know, you, it's, as soon as I played it, I was like, I want to manipulate this, I want to take it somewhere, I want to make it move. It'd be nice to kind of take the attack off of it and let it just kind of creep in. really nice. The key lab was linked in straight away so I could kind of just start manipulating and modulating like the mod the mod was already there. Back up. So that kind of makes it really useful because I like just being hands-on with stuff especially when it's a sound that I like I want to be able to kind of manipulate it. Wow, it's like a symphony with one note. <laughs> it's not really overwhelming. There's so many of these sections that you can kind of dig in to kind of develop these sounds. But initially, yeah, just having so much choice from all of these sort of categories, from strings to sequences, keys, pianos, even like drums and bass. It's amazing just to have so much there. Like you can just take a little MIDI keyboard, which is probably what I'll do. So I can't wait to kind of keep exploring So I know there's going to be so many sounds or little sort of sparks of ideas that sort of generate from it, which is, which is the main thing really.